Galnet News Digest, 19th of September 3305. We read the news so you don't have to. In this week's news, Commander's Strike over Derisory Pay Award. The Arcs capsizes. Palin's teleportation trick fails to amuse. Black Adder interdicts miners. Commander changes livery at Beagle Point. Galactic Company shovels shit. Commander's Strike over Derisory Pay Award. Pilots Federation members are refusing to work following what they describe as a derisory pay award. The Pilots Federation, which until yesterday did not pay its commanders at all, initiated a scheme that rewards members with tokens that can be exchanged for cosmetic items such as paint jobs and decals. However, after working out that the weekly cap on such earnings is not quite enough to buy a small bag of a salted dry roast bar snack, a vocal minority of commanders declared that they were not willing to work for peanuts, despite previously working for nothing at all. The Pilots' Federation has politely suggested that any commanders that are not enjoying flying around the galaxy might find a more satisfying experience and better wages if they take a job as a burger flipper at the local branch of McThargoids. Meanwhile, more enterprising commanders have discovered that simply selling and buying back high-value ship modules can earn the weekly 400 arcs limit in a little under 10 minutes. The Arcs Cap Sizes The new Arcs currency was removed from circulation yesterday, less than an hour after it had been launched. Reasons for the move were unclear, although it may be something to do with enterprising commanders repeatedly buying and selling expensive ship modules. The store, where arcs can be exchanged for paint jobs and decals, also stopped working, although this may have been a result of the Bank of Zeon's servers being overloaded by the rush of commanders buying ship kits at the astoundingly reasonable price of eight arcs. In further bad news, the livery configuration screen became a Hotel California that you could enter but never leave. And the Pilots Federation logging in screen became a new spinning sidewinder. Rumours that a gang of thieves were stealing engineered modifications from lockups in a number of major stations turned out to be false, as were rumours that exploration data was going missing. These apparent discrepancies were later attributed to a database synchronization moving at the speed of an Arcturan mega camel. Palin's teleportation trick fails to amuse. <music> Professor Ishmael Palin's mysterious decision to move from Maya back to the bubble has been explained. It turns out that the posse professor has developed instant matter transport, and he wants to demonstrate it to his unwitting clients. Commanders who spend the night at Palin's new base in the Ark system are finding that they mysteriously wake up several hundred light years away at Palin's old base in Maya. This is clearly handy if you want to visit the Pleiades, but at least some of those treated to Palin's party trick were heading in completely the opposite direction and are less than amused. In possibly related news, the entire Cinder Dock, together with engineer Chloe Sedesi, has vanished completely. Professor Palin is remaining tight-lipped about where he's hidden, his protege. Black Adder interdicts miners. Environmental activists are reported to be interdicting miners, preventing them from benefiting from their plunder of the natural galaxy. As soon as the first fragment of loot touches the miners' cargo hatch, the vigilantes, reported to be flying a black adder and a scarlet crate, swoop in to intervene. The galactic authorities are investigating these interventions and a related set of crimes committed by the Orange Sidewinder, which is interdicting commanders elsewhere in the galaxy. Commander changes livery at Beagle Point.
A commander was yesterday reported to have changed his ship livery while at Beagle Point. Taking advantage of the relaxation of union rules surrounding the painting of ships, the commander, who cannot be named for legal reasons, is reported to have been delighted at the prospect of sprucing his ship up with a new lick of paint. Shortly afterwards, the same commander was threatening to sue the Pilots' Federation when he discovered that the new paint job was every bit as scratched, peeling and tatty as the old one. Galactic Company Shovels Shit A galactic institution is delivering a brand new form of fertiliser according to its own press release. The venerable Rockforth Corporation thinks that it has the solution to galactic food shortages in the form of its new wonder product, EX7 Fertiliser. During its initial release, its use will be monitored closely and for this reason it is currently available only at Marshall Dock in Reedquat at a special introductory price. Commanders are urged to acquire some of this very special form of bio-waste while stocks last. And that's this week's Galnet News. Galnet News! Commander Wallace Spoon reads it so that you don't have to. <laughs>